Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at skin smoothing. Um, so I've got a picture here of uh, Lindsay Lohan. And the first thing we're going to do is paste onto a layer and then we're going to duplicate that layer. And we're going to be working on the top layer here. Now the first thing that we're going to do is apply a filter. So we need to go to the filter at the top here and go to blur and then Gaussian blur. I'm going to select Gaussian blur. Uh, I would have the pixels so it's uh, fairly high. If you do, it depends on the size of your your image that you're working on. Uh, but get it so it's quite blurry, and then you should see that the whole image is blurred. The next thing we want to do is then apply a mask to this layer. So add a mask, and then we want to work on the mask. And you can do that by on the layer, either selecting the image or the mask. So we're going to click on the mask, and masks work with black or white, uh, which you're probably aware of if you used it before. So the first thing we're going to do is allow the mask to show everything through and to do that we're going to cut the paint bucket and we're going to put the colour on black and we're going to fill it and now we should be able to see our original image. And then we're going to go back to the brush and we're going to get the brush um, and we want one with zero hardness so it's um, so it doesn't look unnatural and depending on the size of your image will depend on the size of the brush that you use. I'm going to be doing a pretty quick tutorial here and then we want to change the colour to white which basically means we're going to um, not allow that bit to come through. So I'm just going to go ahead um, and start smoothing the skin. As you can see it's been smoothed. This isn't the finished product. It's really important to not go any, on um, any of the features of, um, of your portrait um, such as the eyes or the eyebrows or the hairline or uh, the edges of the skin because these will look really unnatural. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward whilst I do this. Okay, so now you should have something that's looking quite doll-like, and um, you can compare that to your original. Um, if you do make any mistakes whilst doing this, you can always use the alternative colour. So if you were using black, or you use, um, so you used white to rub out, you can use black, and then it'll fill it back in, um, and you will see the original. Now the last thing we need to do is um, change the opacity here of your layer. Um, this will allow through some of the original, um, which will allow it to look more realistic. Um, so what I'm going to do is just bleed that through a little bit, so we can see some of the original there. Um, allowing still some of the contours of the face, but not allowing uh, the skin to be smoothed. So if we zoom out now, we can see uh, the new image that we've created, and then we can flick that layer off and see the original, and you can see a vast improvement on this. It's obviously just a quick job, and uh, you can play around and use some other tools, such as the spot removing one in my other video, uh, to continue to Photoshop your portraits. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. If you like, please subscribe.